included in your Star Wars activities, I gave you this book. There's a word search, which you can either print out and do. Some of you love word searches, I know that. Or you could possibly try and save it on your computer or iPad as a file, which you could open and then use um, your mouse to highlight and find words that way. So try that, see if you can get it to work. I did not try it with this one yet. And the words are really, the letters are really tiny and fit together. So I'm not sure if you could do it on the computer, but I gave you options. Some of you love word searches, so I included that. If you don't want to do the word search, you can do this unscramble instead, which you don't need to print out. You could just pull this up on your screen and then on a separate sheet of paper, or you could type your answers. Try and unscramble the words from Star Wars. And I will give you a hint that the word search has words at the bottom, which are not all of these, but they would be some of them. So you could use this to help you do this. You can do one or the other one. Of course, you can always do both, but I gave you an option. There's a maze which you could either print out or you can try and save it to your computer and see if you can figure it out. And just use your finger and try. If you have a printer, you can also make yourself a lightsaber bookmark or one of these other ones. So I just thought that was some fun Star Wars stuff. Um, I didn't send it home in the packet. I don't know why I didn't think of it at the time, but um, you can either try and open it up. I know a lot of you said your parent could print it out at work maybe or find another way or like I said you could just save it on your um, computer or iPad and then you are going to have this for one of your journals Star Wars Mad Lib so I want to go through this with you so you're supposed to fold it in half so you don't see what the story is if you do it any other way you're cheating don't cheat so you cover up your story and you are supposed to write words and it gives you suggestions of what you need to do. So the first word is tells you you need to write a noun. So a noun is person, place, thing, or idea. So you could write cat, house, toy, street, parade. Number two, plural things. So it's a noun, but now you're gonna have multiple. So you can have sheep, cats, cookies. I'm giving you all the good ideas. You guys will think of your own. Number three, you're gonna write a job. Number four, you're gonna write a part of your body, like your nose, your ears, or your elbow. Number five, a type of building. So maybe a school, an office, a house. You guys can be more creative than I'm being right now. Number six is also a noun. Number seven is an adverb. Do you know what an adverb is? It's a word that describes a verb. So a verb is an action word. Like he ran, he jumped, he swam, he saw. So an adverb helps describe a verb. So he ran quickly, he swam, Breathlessly, usually it has a L-Y in it. Swiftly, prettily. Um, number eight and number nine are more nouns. Number 10 is a number. Number 11 is a verb, so an action word. Number 12 is an adjective. So an adjective describes a noun. Adverb describes a verb. Adjective describes a noun. So you could say a color like gray or blue or purple, or it could be a number, or it could be something else that would describe a noun. Number 13 is a verb. Number 14 is a number. Number 15 is a noun. Number 16 is another adjective. So once you write your words over here, then you're gonna open it up and look at your story, and you're gonna write your words where they go in the story. And you should come up with a pretty silly creative story. And I would love it if you guys would share these during our next classroom Zoom meeting. Um, so not this week, Wednesday will be with Mr. Trevor again, but the next week. So do a good job on that so you could share it with your friends. Okay, have fun.